Hello and welcome to the Tuesday Smackdown version of the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Show. I don't have to change that name or get a girlfriend. One of these two. And I'm here rocking out my Southern Pro Lucha Libre shirt. And a little, little free plug. You send me merch, you get free plugs. Southern Pro Lucha Libre, one day coming to Daytona Beach. And in fact, you know who else is coming to Daytona Beach? NXT. NXT. I think if I should wear this to an NXT event. I might. I have to wear my jacket. I'll get to that later. But now it's time to talk a little about SmackDown. And SmackDown was a really fun show. SmackDown's definitely the better of the two shows right now. Definitely the A show. And this chair's more comfy. It's not as broken in. I think that chair's just beat up. I have to get a new chair one day, I think. I've had that chair forever. Just squishy now feeling. This chair is nice and firm. I like that. Let's see here. Ooh. I don't have waffle butt either. Waffle butt's very real, folks. But I digress. Let's talk about some SmackDown. This chair is good. I don't have to prop myself. Uh, starts off, the New Day comes out. New Day rocks. <coughs> of course, whenever there's New Day, you're going to get Kofi Chance. Kofi, Kofi. Vince McMahon then comes out. Daniel O'Brien, however, also comes out. Says Kofi is a B-plus player. The New Day, they're a B-plus tag team. But Vince McMahon thinks otherwise, and he challenges the New Day. They win the gauntlet match. Kofi Kings is going to WrestleMania. I hope he's going to be facing Daniel O'Brien. I hope it's not another tease. Even though there is... Oh, wow, there's only one more week until the go-home show. We'll see what happens. That means I have to make a prediction video. I have to predict 17 matches? That video is going to be a half hour long, folks. I apologize for that. It's not my fault. They want to have a six, seven hour long show. And I'll see what happens for WrestleMania. We might have Hobo Mania. That might be the Hobo Weekend. It'd be pretty cool. But we'll see. So then Action gets back to the ringside. And woo! Charlotte Flair comes out to the ring. This was kind of unforeseen. Because Charlotte's boobies grew. Or she was wearing something that really accented her bust line. And her butt. And she was came out all pink. Woo! Charlotte Flair. Woo! Um, and she's going to take on Asuka. Which is, I guess, unheard of. I guess Asuka's done already with Mandy Rose. And Sonya Deville. That was a short-lived nothing. You know what? That was a short it was useless. I even made a Mandy Rose character for the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. Because you know they want to come to Daytona Beach because one, there's the ocean. Two, Florida's tax-free. And that's and they get to sit at the beaches. And that's probably it. And go fishing. Yep. Tax-free. Beaches. Fishing. What else can you expect from Daytona Beach? Scott knows that crowd's terrible. And actually, that means in about a month, I have to make another show. I have to start to put that car together. It shall be called... Oh, that's the Easter. Hobo Mania is different. That's different. I might do that. Triple Mania. Ooh, that sounds... I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll think of something, folks. Don't you worry about that. But back to the match. It was Charlotte Flair versus Asuka. You know it wasn't going to fare well because Asuka's always booked weak, or at least semi-weak, when she faces Charlotte Flair. So, But Asuka, she can kick, though. She's, again, that heavy striker. Charlotte Flair says, like, Woo! And they were busting out a whole bunch of moves. Charlotte Flair, she missed on the moonsault. 
but you hit a top rope Spanish fly, and that always puts a smile on my face. And for the most part, it was actually a really good, exciting match. Asuka could never get her finisher. She could never get the Asuka lock. Asuka has to go the way of AJ Styles, where she needs to, to have like two or three legitimate finishers, I think. I mean, AJ Styles can finish you off with a phenomenal forearm. He has a calf crusher. I think he still uses the 450 and the Styles Clash. So he actually has four potential finishers. Asuka only has one. She's. They've really beat up her character a lot when she came up to the main roster. She really lost a lot of that mystique that she carried in NXT. If anyone probably could use a trip back to NXT, it might be Asuka. That's not saying anything good. But it's the best thing I can say, though, because they've just butchered the Asuka character, the whole mystique. And by the way, that is a cute-looking Asuka doll I'm going to get for my niece for Christmas. And I think they're going to have probably a post-WrestleMania sale. So I have to get that for my niece so she can have a wrestle buddy. Because I had a junkyard dog at one time. I should find one. Put him here in camera view. Along with all the other... But no, that would make me the same as all the other wrestling YouTubers. They all have their toys in front of the camera. Well, Hobo. Don't play with toys anymore. But it was pretty good, though. Again, Charlotte, Charlotte, she busts out the moves. She missed the natural selection. I'm like, does Asuka have a chance? Short live. She put uh, Charlotte applied the figure eight in the middle of the ring. Asuka taps out. That's like the second time Asuka tapped out to Charlotte Flair. Don't get me wrong. It was a good match. It was actually a surf and turf match. But the result was the same, and I don't know. We'll see what happens at WrestleMania because are they will they unify the women's titles? You never know. And if I knew I'd be in Vince McMahon's head, I, I probably wouldn't be a hobo in Daytona Beach. But that's a whole other. Issue. But the next match, the kind of feature match that was advertised for, was Kurt Angle versus AJ Styles. And I forget if these two ever face each other in TNA. I know they were in TNA. I just forget the time frame. Again, you can feel free to comment or send me an email. Say, Hobo Tom, your wrestling knowledge is subpar. Go back to wrestle learning school. Because I honestly forget. That was a time TNA was on like the National Network, then it was on Spike, and then it went to Paramount, and Paramount folded, or it was discontinued. And now it's on Velocity, which like no one... And they don't have any pay-per-views coming out probably until, I think, the end of April. So I will try and get that, because I actually wrote that down on my schedule. Because I haven't, I think I've been covering a lot of WWE and a lot of NXT. I haven't had a chance to get into New Japan. Although again, we might have a Hobo Mania weekend or Hobo Mania week, which will be pretty cool. Where again, so kind of all the wrestling that goes on during WrestleMania week. She's not coming up next week. Forgot all about that. That's next week's Wrestle. Is it? Holy shoot! Next week is WrestleMania week. I'm going to be one busy hobo. And I have to work at home, too, which is good. And I have to do work at work and do two jobs at work. <laughs> Evil hobo I am. So good at that. But back to the match, though. Kurt Angle versus AJ Styles. First of all, it's a great show of sportsmanship. AJ Styles, Kurt Angle extends his hand. Not only does AJ Styles accept the handshake like the outstanding citizen he is, but he gives Kurt Angle a hug. Even better. So that was a really cool moment. Um, it starts off, Kurt Angle hit an amazing German suplex. And then they got into a little grappling. And eventually, AJ Styles locked in the calf crusher. The calf cutter. And then Kurt Angle reversed that into the ankle lock. 
AJ Styles into the turnbuckle. Then out of nowhere comes an RKO because Randy Orton just like shows up. And RKO's AJ Styles and then begins to stomp him. I'm like, wait a second. I wanted to see this match. Boo, Randy Orton. Hey, if he wanted to get heat, he, he just got nuclear heat. Especially from this guy. He just got hobo heat. Kind of heat that you would expect from wrestlers in the Southern Pro Lucha Libre. But, <laughs> shame, shameless plugs. You want to see shameless plugs, just wait really soon. So, that happened, he gets stomped. Um, Kurt Angle hits the angle slam on Randy Orton, picks up AJ Styles. They have another moment in the ring. It was okay. I was kind of disappointed. And because I want to channel the spirit of the one, the only American dream, baby, Dusty Rhodes. This is a Dusty finish, baby. AJ Styles wins. But because this was such a short match, and I was so excited to see two superstars wrestling and do the grappling and a wrestling match. This is actually the first time I think I've ever done this. I don't think I would ever do this. I don't think this is ever going to happen again. This might be the one and only match. I understand why. I just got built up for all the hype. And when they did the interview, I was, you know what, I'm going to upgrade. Only because with the interview, they did mention Randy Orton. They jinxed the match. Shame on you, Charlie. Shame, shame, shame. This is going to be a dusty ham sandwich. Then there was a Miz promo. Of course, he starts to run down Shane. Shane comes out. Again, he is the greatest in the world. Oh, I need to mention this. Kurt Angle interrupted Charles' victory. He was like, da -da, you suck. You suck. You suck. So, as Charles at the stage, Kurt Angle points at her, you suck. She's like, me? Not me. You suck. You suck. It was kind of funny. Um, I forgot to add that. Um, the Miz came out. Sh Shane comes out being the greatest in the world, and he brought out a whole bunch of people. He brought out, I think, one of the Clone Brothers. Sanity was there. Eric Young, Alexander Wolf, Clean Dane, Big Demo, and Shelton Benjamin was also there. Where was Nikki Cross? She's with Sanity. Big Damo's her husband. They should keep those couples together. Whatever. Um, eventually, he breaks down to a brawl. He's like, I've had enough of this. He takes out security. Starts to take out all the wrestlers. Miz takes on Sanity by himself. I thought Asuka was booked weak. Miz took out all of Sanity. Terrible. Then they had the Snickers commercial, which is still the funniest thing. Funniest commercial going. And then we get to the main event of the evening and the gauntlet match to determine Kofi Kingston's future for WrestleMania. The New Day's in a gauntlet match. And they start off wow, 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 with a bullet, no, oh, the cl cl club. Gallows and Anderson. Gallows and Anderson deserve more than this, folks. Remember, at one time, they were tag team champions. Gone are those. But it was pretty good. Um, It was pretty quick. Carl Anderson got in a couple of kicks. Big E had a clothesline sent. Luke Gallows over the top rope. And the New Jay win with the... I forget what it's not the up, up, down, down. Maybe it is. I forget. Whatever their dual finisher is. Again, they pin 
Carl Anderson. I'm looking forward to Machine Gun Carl Anderson in AEW soon. So, for the most part, that was a pretty easy match. And again, just like the previous Scotland match, this match was okay. It was a cheeseburger match. Next match, they take on Rusev and Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura still has the striking potential, and Rusev is just a brute. They tend, they, in this match, they start really to work over Xavier Wood. Which is going to make sense. They're the, they're the two more prominent strikers, relying more on their strength and their striking ability versus their wrestling acumen. They really work over Xavier Woods pretty good. Um, the New Day, they start to get worn down, though. Uh, until Biggie got the hot tag, started doling out belly to belly suplexes to Rusev on Nakamura. Um, eventually, again, uh, Biggie does get stuck in a pinning predicament, Xavier Woods, who's selling the fact that he's getting tired and getting exhausted and getting worn down, saves them. And again, they hit their their finisher the midnight end? Yes. Yeah, I guess the, the midnight end, or, or something like that. Whatever it is, up, up, down, down. They, they, it's a dual finisher. They win, but they're getting really worn down. Next match. And again, this match is going. This was, this was good. This was a good, solid cheeseburger match. The next match, they face the bar. The bar, bar, bar. Caesar and Miss Ansara. And the bar, they're good. I'll tell you what, this was the best match of the whole gauntlet match. I mean, they really worked over Big E, so it's Big E's turn to get worked over. Xavier Woods is still really feeling it from the last match. Um, he does hit some some of the flippy, flippy stuff, the flying stuff. Again, he's really good at that. He saves Big E a couple times. I'll tell you what, this was the best match, mainly because these are two really good tag teams. They understand the ideas and principles behind tag team wrestling, isolating the uh, tag team partners, blind tags. A lot of double teams. This was a really good showcase of tag team wrestling. Um, with this, again, just so much fun. Um, they did get the roll-up on Sheamus. And afterwards, the, the, the bar is just like, we're just going to beat you down. They put Big E through a table. So Big E's through a table. David was exhausted. I mean, they really saw themselves at this match. Because this was actually the the probably with the exception of the end. This was a this was a really good match. This was a surf and turf match. Then you hear the Usos penitentiary, and you're like, oh, they're done. And also, every so often, you see Kofi Kingston in the back, thrown in the locker room by all the faces, and Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross is a face. Nikki Cross should be healed with sanity. And and why is she not with sanity? Or even with her husband, Big Damo, watching. Because Nikki, Nikki Cross was there. Becky Lynch was there, too, watching. Well, Becky Lynch is... Um, who else was there? I remember seeing Naomi was there. Wait a second. Why is Naomi sharing Kofi Kings? Her, her husband's wrestling against New Day. These faces are very confused. So the Usos come out. They're like, what up, Us? What up, Us? You know what? No one deserves this more than Kofi. We forfeit. Did not see that swerve coming. And because of that, it was a little surprise. They did. I'll give WWE credit. No one's really forfeited. So because they're going to do something new, this was that good cheeseburger moment. And then the final tag team. If they beat this tag team, Kofi gets to go to WrestleMania. I hope. And face Daniel Bryan. 
which would be pretty cool. Or maybe. Remember, Vince McMahon just said he's going to go to WrestleMania. Never know, folks. So the New Day take on Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan. Um, Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan just work over Big E. Daniel Bryan was going after Big E's leg against the ring post, just whacking it along the side of the wing, ring post several times. Again, tries to use some leg locks on Big E. Big E's a little bit too strong. And a, a Woods, I mean, he was doing pretty good. He was holding his own. Eric Rowan came too, though. They woke the sleeping giant. Eric Rowan started to clean house, started to clear out the whole table area. Eric Rowan does not know table math, and that table math says you get that table ready, you're going through that table. Well, he didn't go through the table, but uh, he, Big E kind of olayed Eric Rowan into the ring post. Boom. Um, hit um, with a couple, I think a belly, big belly to belly on the outside. Threw him over the table. Big E was smart. He dumped the table on top of Eric Rowan. Slides back in the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten, ten. Got the ten count, the count on victory. Everyone's cheering. Yay! Kofi Kingston comes to the ring, gives everyone a big hug. Everyone gives the New Day a big hug. I want a hug from Becky Lynch. No, not from Nikki Cross. She's married. But Becky Lynch is still single, folks. I think. I think she's seeing someone, though. But she's still single, though. There's still hope for Hobo Tom. And then, of course, you just see Vince McMahon. Ah, yeah, yeah. Kofi Kingston's going to WrestleMania. I hope that's the way it works. And again, that final match segment, that was a really good surf and turf match. And overall, this whole match, even though there were two cheeseburger parts because of the build-up, the height, this was a really good surf and turf gauntlet match. And that was SmackDown. And this just seems like there's more of a buildup for WrestleMania going on in SmackDown. A little confused about the Charlotte thing. And, of course, AJ Styles and Randy Orton still gets still is going on. You have the New Day, the feel-good moment with Kofi Kingston, who's going to get his WrestleMania moment. SmackDown just this seems like so much a quicker, easier watch than, than Raw. Because SmackDown... It's just really consistent across the board. And oh, I exceeded my 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 twenty two limit my twenty two minute time limit. Hey, listen, don't make fun of free programs though. But again, SmackDown, it's just amazing. I mean, across the board, it stayed up. Maybe a little dip with the Oscar thing. Overall, it was really fun, though. So it'll be interesting to see what the go-home shows are like for WrestleMania. So this week, I have to figure out what's going on, what's what wrestling shows are, are happening when. So I might even try and catch some Defiant Wrestling on Sunday. Maybe. So I haven't seen Defiant Wrestling in a long time. It would be good to get re-involved with that, especially because it's it is WrestleMania week because it used to be W used to be what culture pro wrestling pro wrestling. Of course, what what culture pro wrestling still have the girl with the shiniest wizard, Nixon Newell. I wonder if she's single. No, I think she's seeing someone. I forget. There's hope for Hobo Tom still. So again, one other note on Thursday. I should be going to the day to NXT here in Daytona Beach. So you get your chance to see Hobo Tom sporting this beautiful SPLL Southern Pro Lucha Libre shirt. Again, if you send me merch, I will plug it. 
you'll be able to see this guy, Hobo Tom, at the Multicultural Center here in Daytona Beach. Honestly, it's a half hour walk from my house. I'm not going through Ticketmaster, though. Ticketmaster is evil. I'm going to see if I can get my ticket there at the event. So again, you can only say hi to this guy. Because I'll probably be there. I have to get there early. Because I do have to get... I, I finally figured out my camera is way too detailed in pictures. So I have to get some selfies with some wrestling women so I can put those as my thumbnails. Because the camera, bueno. And I have to take some picture of butt. <laughs> but Nothing but the butt. Been up too late, folks. Well, everyone have a good night. And again, this Thursday, 7.30. I just kind of put the details up. Previously, you can see this guy, Hobo Tom, and you'll see some more videos probably on Friday.